All right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night ten. It's exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's gonna look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, he is ready to go. So are we for our main event. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. One of the best in the business, Herb Ready. Dean, is our referee tonight. Ready. Let's do it. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles, just absurd. And a hard guy to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early going. Block that one. Now he's throwing that jab to the body. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Big shot to the head. Good kick to the body. Make the bad man stop. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Oh, the roundhouse kick now. Fast pace here in the early going. Well, he's got a pretty good side kick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Big punches. Lance the low kick. Get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let him go. The takedown is not there. Hands to the head. 
Body kick lands. Until you stop it, I'm gonna keep kicking. Body kick after body kick. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. Nice strike. Right on the button. He's got that jab working nicely done. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Lee's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, nice kick. Oh, nice. Just missed with that right hand. Two minutes on the round one clock. Nice counter shot there. Job here defensively, and you've got to be of sound defensive mind to set up your counter shots. He is certainly feeling it in this round. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Lee. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. Nice left hand there. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range team. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up here. Yep, and over the top. Under a minute now to go on the round. Oh, and he lands another pinpoint counter. He has done an excellent job, seemingly all night, remaining patient, waiting for his opponent to strike first, and timing his counters perfectly. Beautiful body kick. Straight right hand counter, useful. Oh, nice jab by Lee. And he blocks the shot there. Nice leg kick. Ten seconds to go in the round. Huge knee lands to the clinch. And look at him close to the opposite side to give himself the right distance to land these beautiful knees. And that underhook helping him wow. control that side of his opponent. Nicely done. Round two straight ahead. Let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. You ready to fight? Ready. Come All on. right, let's get to round two. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Nice counter there with the left hand, snaps it off beautifully. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh, how clean is that? Nice strike. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Jab there by the champ. 
Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And that spinning kick out its home on top. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Leg kick lands. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Plans the side kick now. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Lee's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Connects now with the one-two. Trying to land an elbow there to no avail. Nice defense. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Just out of range with that right hook. Ooh, what a punch. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Lee's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Nice kick to the body. You can catch a body kick, but you got to step off to the side. You just can't take it clean. Nice shot there by the champ. And potentially a critical takedown here. Lee gets up. He is back on the feet here. Straight right is there. Under a minute to go. That's a big strike right there. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving the edge. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. And blocks the shot there. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defenses? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing this training? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far.
Just misses with a left hook there. He lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. Fast leg kick lands. Moving to his left now. And that one certainly found the target. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. And really nice job to finish the take down there. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Get them out here. Lee's in half guard. Under three minutes now to go on the round. This is where he wants to be. Good movement defensively here on the ground by Lee. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Beautiful transition. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, beautifully placed with the hook there by Lee. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Under two minutes to go in the round. Sidekick is there. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Straight right hand now just misses. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying. But he gets a little bit anxious, so he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Wild swing there. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the leg, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. Whiffs on that offering. 15 seconds. Nice. Oh, and three oh. rounds were now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the horn. It's amazing to think we got here, given how many times he rocked his opponent there in the previous round. Almost looked like a glorified sparring session, given how dominant he was. Yeah, it just looked like one guy that was much better than the other guy. He was hurting him every time he landed. And it's a testament to his ability and his accuracy in the stand-up.
All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now really his fight. opponent's walking back to right. his corner. Everybody right. looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, he might be working towards an attritive knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man. Oh, oh, Drops inside that closed guard, DC. Closed guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Good defensive vision to block that punch. Oh, that is it! Wow! Wow! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Let's get it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 49 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance.